The Hollywood Theater of the Ear presents By His Bootstraps by Robert A. Heinlein with Ira Burton, Richard Dreyfus, and others. Our presentation this time is one of the classics of fantastic literature, the oft-reprinted By His Bootstraps, as published in 1941 by the man they called the Dean of American Science Fiction Writers, Robert A. Heinlein. It's a time travel story. And though both Albert Einstein and Isaac Asimov have gone on record that travel in the time stream is pure fantasy and illegitimate pseudoscience relative of real-time physics, even so, I think you're going to find this little mystery tale a charming Lauconian serpent that swallows its own tail not once but maybe half a dozen times. It is a bewildering fictional conceit that asks such questions as, Who is who? And when? And when is a man not himself? Yesterday, today, or tomorrow? And why, when we're confronted with the impossible, why don't we just sit back and enjoy it? By his bootstraps. Wilson did not see the circle grow, nor, for that matter, did he see the stranger who stepped out of the circle and stood staring at the back of Wilson's neck, stared and breathed heavily, as if laboring under strong and unusual emotion. Nor is it valid to assume that a conceivable proposition is necessarily a possible proposition even when it is possible to formulate mathematics which describes the proposition with exactness. <clears throat> A case in point is the spurious concept of time travel. Uh, duration is an attribute of the consciousness and not of the plenum. It has no ding und sich. <laughs> uh, therefore, <laughs> damn it. Don't bother with it. It's a lot of bull. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Thank God, somebody's really there. For a minute, I thought I'd spaced out. Hey. Wait a minute. What are you doing in my room? That door's locked. How did you get in here? Through that. That? What the hell? A disc floating in the air. A big circle of nothing, just suspended like... like a special effect. Oh, my God, I was right the first time. I wonder when I slipped my trolley. Don't touch it. Why not? I'll explain the whole thing, but uh, let's have a drink first. Hey, hey, what do you think you're doing with my gin? Your gin? Uh, sorry, uh, do you mind if I uh, have a drink? Can I stop you? Well, I guess it's all right. Uh, pour me one while you're at it. Okay, then I'll explain. It better be good. Cheers. Who is this guy? Hasn't shaved for days. Looks like he's been in a brawl and gotten the worst of it. What a shiner. Huh, swollen lip. I don't like his looks. But there's something familiar about him. I've seen him before, but where? Who are you? Me? <laughs> you don't recognize me? Should I? Have I seen you before? Well, not exactly. Uh, skip it. Uh, you wouldn't know about it. What's your name? My name? Uh, just call me Joe. Okay, Joe, whatever your name is. Let's hear your explanation. And make it quick. Uh, fine. That, um, that dingus I came through, it's a, it's a, it's a time gate. A what? A time gate. Time flows along side by side on each side of the gate. But some thousands of years apart. Just how many thousands, I don't know. But for the next couple of hours, that gate is open. Uh, you, you can walk uh, into the future just by stepping through that circle. It's a nice story. You don't believe me, do you? I'll show you. Hey, that's my only hat. Don't throw it in... Neat trick. Now, if you don't mind, I would like to have my hat back. That hat's seen me through six years of academic life. You can get it for yourself when you pass through. Huh? That's right. Now listen, this thing is a time gate. The other side of it is thousands of years from now. And the future is just waiting for you, and it is a great future. <laughs> Here is an opportunity that comes once in a millennium, if that frequently. Now listen, you have not seen what I have seen. It's beautiful. You understand? And all you gotta do is climb through that circle. 
Look, look, uh, it's very important that you hurry and go through. I can't explain it right now, but you won't regret it. Believe me. I need another drink. Uh, why should I go through this thing uh, just on your say-so? Oh, damn it. If you just step through once, explanations wouldn't be necessary. Look, um, on the other side, there's this old guy, see? He needs your help. Uh, where, with your help, the three of us can run the whole country, split everything between us. It's ours for the taking. What's, uh, what's he need me for? Uh, I, well, uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure, exactly. But that isn't the point. I mean, what have you got to lose? What's your alternative, huh? A degree? A nice, safe, boring academic career with grading papers and faculty tees and maybe a research grant or two to while away the lonely hours, huh? Facing a fresh crowd of turkeys every semester. Come on! This is your chance! Grab it! You have a point. <laughs> a PhD in teaching in some backwater college is not my idea of existence. But still, it beats working for a living. <laughs> hey, look at the gin bottle. It's almost empty. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, sorry, old buddy. <laughs> I'm not going to climb on your merry-go-round. And you want to know why? Why? Because I'm drunk. That's why. You're, 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 you're not there at all. And that, uh, your friendly little neighborhood time machine... Time gate. Whatever. It's not there either. Nobody here but me, and I'm drunk. I've been working too hard. I'm going to go to bed. You're not drunk. I am too drunk. Peter Piper picked a pick of pepper pickles. <laughs> See? Good night. You can't do that. Let him alone. Now, who is this guy? What is this, open house? Whew. Wish I could focus. <laughs> These guys could be brothers. Twins. Uh, which is which? Oh, no. Maybe I'm just seeing double. <laughs> uh, bad stuff, Jim. Should have switched to rum a long time ago. Good stuff, rum. You can drink it, or you can take a bath in it. No, no, no. That's Jim. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's Joe. Which one is Joe? Oh, yeah. He's the one with the black eye. Then, who is this other character? Who are you? He knows me. Yeah. Suppose I do. Uh, what are you doing here? You're going to louse up, uh, louse up the plan. There's no time. I know more about it than you do, you'll admit that. And my judgment is bound to be better than yours. He does not go through the gate. I don't admit anything of the kind. Answer it. Hello? Bob Wilson. Yeah? Who's this? Never mind. Just wanted to be sure you were there. <laughs> I thought you would. <laughs> You're in the groove, friend. In the groove. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Creep. What was it? Nothing, uh, just some nut with a misplaced sense of humor. There he is again. Listen, Toadstool, if you want a good chuckle, go set fire to your shorts, but leave me alone. What a thing to say! Oh, Lord. Oh, <laughs> hi, uh, Genevieve. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I'd hope so. No, no, you don't understand, honey. A guy who's been pestering me over the phone, and uh, I just thought it was him. You know I, I'd never talk to you like that, honey. Oh, I think not. Particularly after all you said to me this afternoon, about all we meant to each other. What, uh, this afternoon? Of course. But what I called about was this. Um, you left your hat at my apartment. I noticed it a few minutes ago, and just thought I'd call and tell you... <laughs> Anyhow, it gave me an excuse to hear your voice again. My hat? Uh, sure, fine. Look, uh, babe, I'm a, I'm a little confused. Why don't I come over tonight and straighten it out? I know I didn't leave your hat in my apartment. <laughs> your hat, sweetheart. Get her off the phone. All right, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyhow, I'll see you tonight. Bye. Oh, that woman is getting to be a problem. Hallucinations yet. Okay. Okay, Joe. I'm ready if you are. When did I decide that? Fine! Just step through. Wait, Wait a minute. Let's do it. Hey, listen, you. Who the hell do you think you are anyway? You want to make something of it, you? You and what army? Hey, let go of him. Let... Stay out of this. I got everything under... Oh! Are you all right? Ooh, I guess so. Oh, my mouth hurts. My head hurts. No doubt. You came through rather hard. Came through? You knocked me right through that thing. Ah, oh, this... That must be the old guy Joe talked about. Middle-aged beard. Funny outfit. 
Uh, purple pajamas. <laughs> Maybe he's an inmate. This looks like the padded cell of some kind of nut house. Oh, there's that damn circle. Oh, my head. Where am I? The hall of the gate in the high palace of Norkal. But what is important is when you are. You have gone forward a little more than 30,000 years. Now I know I'm crazy. Where are you going? Back. Not so fast. You'll go back all right. I promise you that. But first let me dress your wounds. You need rest as well. I have some explanations to make to you, and there is an errand that you can do for me when you get back to our mutual advantage. There's a great future in store for you and me, my boy. A great future. What is this used car salesman routine? Uh, I, I don't, I don't like this. Wouldn't you like a drink before you go? Huh, huh say the secret word, divide a hundred dollars. Okay. Come with me. Hmm, hell of a layout you have here. It's not mine. Well, rather it is, I inherited it, you could say. It was built by the grand ones, as the natives call them. And, uh, what do they call you? Call me Dictor, everyone else does. Okay, Dictor, I'm, uh... Bob Wilson, I know. Oh, I guess Joe told you, huh? I don't know anybody named Joe. You know? Well, then, uh, maybe you're not the guy that I'm, I'm supposed to see. But I am. I've been expecting you in a way. Joe! <laughs> it had slipped my mind for a moment. He told you to call him Joe, did he? Well, isn't that his name? It's as good as any. Here we are. Sit down. Uh, there's no chair. The floor is soft. You'll be comfortable. Oh, you're right. AstroTurf for shut-ins, huh? Drink up. Uh, join me? Later. Let me take care of your wounds first. Okay. Mmm, good stuff. <laughs> Mind if I have another? Help yourself. Oh, it's a naive domestic burgundy. Ah, without any breeding. <laughs> but I think you'll be amused by its presumption. <laughs> you remember that? It's uh, James Thurber? <laughs> it's, yeah, no, <clears throat> of course not. <laughs> you wouldn't remember. It was, uh, it was before your, before your time. <laughs> Good day. Ah, yes, sir. The thesis is done. Hey, no, it isn't. Hey. Feeling better? Uh, I do, as a matter of fact. Say, what is this? We'll get to that. How about some breakfast? Laura and Kiboto. Oh, my God. Dufty Nolis, Dictor? Be still, my beating heart. Up to. Hi, Dictor. She'll lay the breakfast things out for you. The girl's tray is filled with fruit. None of it will be familiar to you, I'm afraid, but you'll find it quite edible. I'd like to nibble on her a little bit. How about a little sunshine? Now, let me start with some background. It's not certain who the Grand Ones were, or where they came from, or where they went when they left the Earth. I think I just left the Earth. Oh, baby, won't you come with me? I am inclined to think that they went away into time. <laughs> it's time she and I had a little tete-a-tete. -tete. In any case... They ruled more than 20,000 years and completely obliterated human culture as you know it. What I know is that's a swell outfit she has on, almost. What is more important to you and me is the effect they had on the human psyche. If I could probe her psyche, that'd be pretty important. One 20th century go-getter can accomplish just about anything he wants to around here. Aren't you listening? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Say, uh, that is one mighty pretty girl. Hmm. I suppose so. She's not exceptional as women go around here. <laughs> That's hard to believe. You like her? Very well. She's yours. What? She's a slave. Don't react. There are slaves by nature. If you like her, I'll make you a present of her. It'll make her happy. Her name is Arma. Kuiksalai. Touch her forehead. Swazi fia ki hai? Nemo ples lai swazi. Zobelaram. I told her that, notwithstanding her new status, you wished her to continue serving breakfast. As a matter of fact, another course should be ready just about now. Right on time. Up to. Hi, Dictor. As I was saying, one 20th century go-getter can write his own ticket here. Of 
of course. Responsibilities must be taken seriously. Maybe I was a little hasty letting this dictor give armor to me. This new girl has a certain uh, je ne sais quoi that I would like to qua very much. Either the standard of pulchritude has gone up incredibly in the last 30,000 years, or dictor goes to a lot of pains with his personal retinue. <laughs> I don't know what that is you're fiddling with, darling, but if you straighten up soon, you'll make me very unhappy. For that reason, it is necessary that you go back through the time gate twice more. And after that, it's share and share alike for you and me. And there is plenty to share. I, you're not listening. Hmm? Oh, sure. No, I was, Chief. Uh, uh, say, you got a razor I could borrow? Keep your eyes off the hired help and listen to Yeah, me. sure. Hey, listen, I'm your man, you know? When do we start? Oh, bye-bye, PhD. Hello, pulchritude. Then come with me. Where are we going? Back to the time gate. Uh, these controls difficult to operate? Not particularly. Now, all you have to do is step through the gate and you will find yourself back in your own room in your own time. Persuade the man you find there to go through the gate we have need of him. And then come back here Piece yourself. Piece of cake, Chief. Wait, you're not used to time travel. I warn you, you are going to get one hell of a shock. This other man, you're going to recognize him. Uh-huh. Who is he? Well, when you see him, it'll all come clear. Just don't let anything throw you. Okay. A paradox, a paradox, a most amusing paradox. Spare me the serenade. Everything's ready. Go on through. Check. This is my room, all right. Who the hell is that guy pounding on my typewriter? I don't mind the renting my room, but... That guy does look familiar. <laughs> you can only turn around. Oh, he smokes my brand. Hey, he's wearing my clothes. What nerve? That son of... Wait a minute. He's wearing the same clothes I'm wearing. How can we both... No, don't tell me. What's he typing? Look at him waste that smoke. Only half burned. I used to do that when I was working. Or is it valid to assume that a conceivable proposition is necessarily... He's typing my thesis! My God! He's me! Jeez! Gee, oh, Dictor said I was in for a shot. And then again, why should I be shocked? <laughs> if time travel is possible, why can't I come back and see myself doing something that I did in the past? Don't bother with it. It's a lot of bull. What are you doing in my room? That door's locked. How did you get in here? Through that. That... Don't touch it. Why not? <laughs> That's a good question. Why don't I stop him? I'll explain the whole thing, but uh, let's have a drink first. Boy, do I need one. Hey, hey, what do you think you're doing with my gin? Your gin? Huh, it is his liquor. Oh, it's ours. No, oh, well. Uh, sorry, uh, do you mind if I uh, have a drink? Well, I guess it's all right. Uh, pour me one while you're at it. Okay, then I'll explain. You better be good. Cheers. Look at him giving me the once-over. What a jerk. Can he recognize his own face? Well, then again, he's been going at that paper for 30 hours straight. And I have a swollen lip and a black eye. Nuts. Well, if he can't see what the situation is, then how am I going to tell him? Who are you? Me? <laughs> you don't recognize me? Should I? Have I seen you before? Well, not exactly. Don't even bother. Uh, skip it. Uh, you wouldn't know about it. What's your name? My name? How do you tell another guy that the two of you are a mite closer than twins? Uh, just call me Joe. Uh-oh, deja vu. This is all a little familiar. I'm Joe. <laughs> that clears up that little mystery. Hey, Joe, whatever your name is. Let's hear your explanation. And make it quick. Where is free will in all of this? I don't have to live this scene again word for word, do I? Hell no, I'll just say something, anything. Mary had a little lamb. Get off this treadmill. <laughs> Uh, come on, do it. Do it. Oh, what the hell? Uh, fine. That um, that dingus I came through. It's a it's a it's a time gate. A what? A time gate. Stop me if you've heard this before. Time flows along side by side on each side of the gate, but some thousands of years apart. Just how many thousands I don't know. Oh, these are the same goddamn words. But for the next couple of hours, that gate is open. Mary had a little time. Its gate is wide as... Uh, you, you can walk uh, into the future just by stepping through that circle. It's a nice story. Is that guy me? He's pretty stupid. You don't believe me, do you? I'll show you. 
Hey, that's my only hat. Don't throw it in. Neat trick. Now, if you don't mind, I would like to have my hat back. That hat's seen me through six years of academic life. You can get it for yourself when you pass through. <laughs> Come to think of it, the dictator must have one hell of a hat collection. Huh? That's right. Now listen, this thing is a time gate. The other side of it is thousands of... Oh, uh, that's it. Come on, Bob Wilson. Lay it on thick. It is I can't explain anything to this moron. I do better talking tensor calculus to an Australian aborigine, and I don't even understand that. And again, do I understand this? You should put that drink down and look intelligent. Look, look, uh, it's very important that you hurry and go through. I can't explain it right now, but you won't regret it. Believe me. I need another drink. Great! Uh... Why should I go through this thing uh, just on your say-so? Oh, damn it. If you just step through once, explanations wouldn't be necessary. Look, um, on the other side, there's this old guy, see? He needs your help. Why does he need our help? Uh, where, with your help, the three of us can run the whole country, split everything between us. It's ours for the taking. Yeah, that guy, Dictor, didn't tell me very much, did he? What's, uh, what's he need me for? Uh, I, well, uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure, exactly. But that isn't the point. I mean, what have you got to lose? That's it. I'll get him where he lives. What's your alternative, huh? A degree? A nice, safe, boring academic career with grading papers and faculty tees and maybe a research grant or two to while away the lonely hours, huh? Facing a fresh crowd of turkeys every semester. Come on! This is your chance! Grab it! You have a point. <laughs> a PhD in teaching in some backwater college is not my idea of existence. Well, still... It beats working for a living. <laughs> oh, no. no uh, sorry, old buddy. I'm not going to climb on your merry-go-round. And you want to know why? Why? Because I'm drunk. That's why. You're, 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 you're not there at all. And that, uh, your friendly little neighborhood time machine... Time gate. Whatever. It's not there either. Nobody here but me, and I'm drunk. I've been working too hard. I'm going to go to bed. You're not drunk. Man who can't hold his liquor shouldn't drink. I am too drunk. Peter Piper picked a pickle, pepper and pickle. <laughs> See? Good night. You can't do that. Let him alone. Oh, no. I forgot about him. He's me, too. <laughs> Why didn't I remember he was due to show up? I could have planned something. Who are you? He knows me. Yeah. I suppose I do. Uh, what are you doing here? You're going to louse up, uh, louse up the plan, you know? There's no time. I know more about it than you do. You'll admit that? And my judgment is bound to be better than yours. He does not go through the gate. Why, you arrogant son of a... I don't admit anything of the kind. Answer it. Hello? Yeah, who's this? Hello? Hello? Creep. What was it? Nothing. Uh, just some nut with a misplaced sense of humor. There he is again. Listen, Toadstool, if you want a good chuckle, go set fire to your shorts, but leave me alone. Oh, <laughs> hi, uh, Genevieve. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, for crying out loud, hang up on that simpering, clinging vine already. You know, you know it's nauseating to hear you fawning when Arma and friend are waiting just 30,000 years away. What, uh, this afternoon? Bob Wilson, you shouldn't get involved with women 30,000 years younger than you. Talk about better asty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, I'll see you tonight. Bye. Okay. Okay, Joe. I'm ready if you are. Fine. Just step through. Wait a minute. Let's do it. Hey, listen, you. Who the hell do you think you are anyway? You want to make something of it, you? You and one army. <laughs> right, hey, let go of him. Let. Stay out of this. I got everything under. Now you've done it. Me? You knocked him through the gate. I never laid a finger on him. But I'm ready to lay a few on you. It's your fault. If you hadn't interfered, I wouldn't have had to do it. Why, <laughs> you... Just cool it. Cool it. It's too late anyway. He's gone through. Too late for what? Too late to break the chain of events. Why should we? Because Dictor's played me, played you played us. For a dope. A pair of dopes. Look, look, he told you he was going to uh, set you up as a big shot over there, didn't he? Yeah, all talk. What he means to do is to get us inextricably tangled in this time gate while he rakes in all the chips. Hmm. That could be true. Certainly what's happened so far hasn't made much sense. After all, why should Dictor want my help? And badly enough to fork over half of his cushy setup. How do you know? 
Oh, why go into it? Can't you take my word for it? Why should I? If you can't trust me, who can you trust? That's that's pretty galling. It's inescapably logical, but it's galling. I'm t you know I'm tired. I'm really tired of just doing what I'm told, like a trained dog. Uh, I'll take my chances. Where are you going? I'm gonna have it out with Dictor. No! Maybe we can break the chain even now. Go ahead. It's your funeral. Oh, yeah? Well, if it is, then it's your funeral, too. Remember that. Ciao, baby. before we're all squared away. I must say I am pleased with you, Bob. Very pleased indeed. Sorry. I can't say the same about you. What's the idea, huh? Shoving me into that, uh, that daisy chain without a warning. Calm down. If I told you that you were going back to meet yourself face to face, would you have believed me? Okay, okay, but you can tell me now. Why did you send me through the gate? So that you could come through in the first place. But I had come through. Really? Then who was it that you found working on your thesis? Me. But you hadn't been through the gate yet. Well, no, I... So how could you have been through the gate unless you persuaded yourself to go through the gate? Are you telling me... Are... <laughs> Wait, are you telling me that I did something because I was going to do something? Well, didn't you? You were there. No, no, I didn't. Well, uh, well, yeah, maybe I did, but I... I well, it, well, it didn't feel like... Well, hold it. Come on. I'm a physicist. This is impossible. It denies all reasonable theories of causation. I went through because I came back from going through to persuade myself to go through. I mean, <laughs> that's absurd. Well, didn't you? Don't worry about it. The causation you have been accustomed to is valid enough in its own field, but it's simply a special case under the general case. Causation in a plenum need not be and is not limited by one's perception of duration. Sounds nice, but slippery. How about entropy? You can't get around entropy. You remind me of the mathematician who proved that aeroplanes couldn't fly. Come on, there's work to be done. Damn it, you can't do this to me. Now, just what happened to the other two? The other two Bob Wilsons. How am I ever going to get unsnarled? You aren't snarled. You don't feel like more than one person, do you? Well, no, but... Then don't worry about it. But I've got to. What happened to the guy who came through just ahead of me? Don't you remember? Look. It's him. Asleep. <laughs> Black eye, thick lip and all. Look at him. Curled up there in a drunken stupor. Remember when I brought you here to dress your wounds? I gave you a drink. The drink contained a soporific that put you away for about 36 hours. Sleep you badly needed. And when you wake up, I'll give you breakfast and tell you what has to be done. Don't do that. Don't call him me. I'm me. Have it your own way. Close the door, please. Just as well. We've got to hurry. Now, once a sequence like this is established, there's no time to waste. I want you to return to the 20th century and obtain certain things for us. What sort of things? A good number of items. I've got a list. Excuse me. I must set the controls. Maybe handy for me to learn how to run this thing. It's a very interesting little gizmo. How does it work? I don't know the mechanics. Just the operation. These control space positioning. See? Up, down, forward, back. Left and right. This controls time, past, and future. Uh, how can you tell where and when you are? You look through this. Try it yourself. Okay. Yeah, that's my room, all right. That's me there, and that's me too. Oh, and it's creepy. Well, all right. I've, thank you. I've seen enough. Good. Oh, mustn't forget to give you your list. Here. He's railroading me. You know, everywhere I go, I keep bumping into myself, and I don't like it. I feel like a whole cage full of guinea pigs. And now you want to rush me off again, and I don't know any more than I did before. Now, what is going on? You stupid, ignorant young fool. It would take weeks before you even started grasping what this all is. Months. I'm offering you half a world in return for a few hours' cooperation, and you argue with me. Okay, Buster. No dicky, no washy. Get away from those controls. Something's dawning on me. In a minute, I'll have it. Who are you? I'm Dictor. Come off it. You know what I mean. How did you learn English? I know you didn't learn it here. Huh? You're from my time, aren't you? I wonder how long it would take you to figure that out. <laughs> Well, maybe I'm not right, but I'm not as stupid as you think. Come on, give me the rest of the story. We're wasting time. You've given me the rush with that line once too often. How can we waste time when we have that? Unless you lied to me, we can use any slice of time we want whenever we want to. Now, something's fishy, and I know how to settle it. You're coming with me. You don't know what you're saying. Who'll manage the controls? Uh, not you, buddy. You'd send me through and lose me. I prefer to keep you in plain sight. Out of the question. I said keep away from those controls. There. 
That's better. If I'm right, this thing is still set from my room. Stay right there. I want to see something. And one leg up, and we're through the gate. Nobody here but me, and I'm drunk. I've been working too hard. I'm going to go to bed. You're not drunk. Well, well, well. Here I am, back at the beginning. Oh, this yeah, time I'll put a stop to this carousel. Peter Piper picked a pickle, pepper, pickle. <laughs> see? Good night. You can't do that. Let him alone. Aha. I see the guy with the shiner recognizes me. The other one. Oh, this is going to be a job. He's stinko. Why would anybody pack so much booze away on an empty stomach? It wastes good booze. And I hope they left me something to drink. Who are you? He knows me. Yeah. I suppose I do. Now, what are you doing here? You're going to louse up, uh, louse up the plan, you know? There's no time. I know more about it than you do, you'll admit that. And my judgment is bound to be better than yours. He does not go through the gate. I don't admit anything of the kind. Answer it. Hello? Yeah? Who's this? Oh, nuts. I started this all wrong. Am I really as dumb as this guy? Do I come off like that to everybody? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Creep. What was it? Nothing. Uh, just some nut with a misplaced sense of humor. There he is again. Listen, Toadstool, if you want a good chuckle, go set fire to your shorts, but leave me alone. Oh, <laughs> hi, uh, Genevieve. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. <sighs> gotta make a plan. No, no, you don't now, this one I, is too drunk I, to be reasonable, be so it's Joe that I gotta convince. If I get his help, then we'll be two against one. I can deck the drunk. Joe will be a handful. Yeah, right. Work on Joe. Uh, sure, fine. Look, um... Uh, Babe, I'm a, I'm a little confused. Why don't I come over tonight and straighten it out? I know I didn't leave your hat in my apartment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, I'll see you tonight. Bye. Okay. Okay, Joe. I'm ready if you are. This ain't what I planned. Just step through. Wait a minute. Hey, listen, you. Who the hell do you think you are anyway? You want to make something of it, you? You and one army. All right, I'll just put them away fast. Stay out of this. I got everything under... Lord, 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 I've knocked him through again. Now you've done it. Me? You knocked him through the gate. I never laid a finger on him. It's your fault. If you hadn't interfered, I wouldn't have had to do it. Why, <laughs> you... Just cool it. Cool it. Lord, I hate being wrong. Well, it was hopeless from the start. It's too late anyway. He's gone through. Too late for what? Too late to break the chain of events. It was too late from the beginning. The process has to work itself out. It can't be stopped. Why should we? Because Dictors played me, played you played us for a dope, a pair of dopes. Oh, what's the use? But damn it, I'm right. Look, look, he told you he was going to uh, set you up as a big shot over there, didn't he? Yeah. All talk. What he means to do is to get us inextricably tangled in this time gate while he rakes in all the chips. How do you know? How do I know? It's a hunch. That's all. Oh, why go into it? Can't you take my word for it? <laughs> why should I? How arrogant can you get? If you can't trust me, who can you trust? Uh... I'll take my chances. Where are you going? I'm going to have it out with Dictor. No! Maybe we can break the chain even now. Oh, he's not going to listen to reason. Okay, go ahead. It's your funeral. Oh, yeah? Well, if it is, then it's your funeral, too. Remember that. Ciao, baby. Whose funeral? Hmm. Hadn't thought of it quite that way. Maybe I ought to go after that guy. Make sure he doesn't get into a jam. Hey, suppose he gets himself killed. Where would that leave me? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He won't do anything. He can't. He can't do anything that I'm not going to do first. And if that's true, then the whole McGill is straightened out. <laughs> I got away from Dictor. All the various Bob Wilsons are sorted out. And I'm back in my room. No worse than before. Except uh, for needing a shave. Okay. First the shave. And then back to the grindstone. Obviously, the thesis has to be rewritten from scratch. Yep. Is that you, Bob? Who's this? Well, that's the second time you haven't recognized me today. Genevieve, I've asked you not to phone me while I'm working. Working? You weren't working this afternoon. Just buzz off, okay? Well, what makes you think you can sweet-talk me one minute and bark at me the next? I'm not any too sure I want to marry you anymore. Marry you? <laughs> You're taking a lot for granted, aren't you, kid? 
Oh, oh, you. No, so that's the game, is it? My father's a lawyer, a judge. There's a way to handle men like you. You've had plenty of practice manhandling, my oh, dear. Oh, oh, you're going to pay for that. Pay for it. Pay for it. <laughs> She's going to make things pretty hot for me. Somehow, I don't think this thesis is going to get done by 10 a.m. tomorrow. It's already four in the afternoon, even if I sat up all night. And then there's Genevieve. 30,000 years from now is looking mighty good to me. The time gate is still there. Hmm. Is that the smart thing to do? That's it. Come on. There's work to be done. Damn it, you can't. Ooh, that was close. All right, what now? Ah, of course. The gate's my best advantage. If I can figure out the controls... Can't see too well. It was so bright in here before. Hey, here's my hat. <laughs> Glad to have you back, chapeau of mine. Now, let's see. I should have a match somewhere. Oh, Dictor's shopping list. <laughs> a funny bunch of stuff on here. Still, it has certain logic of its own. Dictor does know the territory better than I do. Still... I can work the gate. Yeah! I'll load up with all this. But for my benefit. Not his. Yeah! I'll go back one more time. If I can get this thing to work. Oh, hi, Bob. Hi, Soup. Uh, can you cash a check for me? How much? Fifty. Oh, I suppose so. It's good, isn't it, the check? Uh, not very. <clears throat> it's it's my own. Yeah, all right. Well, I might invest in it as a curiosity. I'll be needing a couple of items while I'm at it. Uh, like, for instance? Well, some books. Uh, Machiavelli's The Prince, uh, Behind the Ballots by James Farley, uh, Mein Kampf, and How to Win Friends. Uh, and hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold uh, on. One at a time. Well, let me write out the list for you. And then if you could pull these things for me while I run over to Maxwell's and get some other supplies. millennia is past the statute of limitations on bad checks, I presume. Kind of early for Christmas shopping, ain't it? Uh, right here, right here. I'll pull up to this alley. Uh, now, can you wait a minute, please? I gotta pile all this stuff in the alley. An alley? What are you, a fence or something? Uh, is this stuff hot? It's gone. I left the time gate here. No mistake, and now it's gone. Hey, Mac, you want my cab, but don't you? The meter's still running. Uh, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Where to? What's the problem? Where can you go at this hour? Say, what hour is it? Say, uh, you got the time? Uh, 2.15. No wonder it hasn't gotten dark. The machine was set for earlier in the day. That means the time gate should be back at the room. Well, yeah, but so are my blood brothers. <laughs> Let me see. I finally left there around when? 4.15. Now, if I timed it right... Drive to the corner of 4th and McKinley. you were working today. Nope. Not at all. Got time to burn. Well, you, you gonna invite me in? <laughs> Where can I hang this hat? At the tone, the time will be 3, 26, and 20 seconds. Wilson. Yeah, who's this? Never mind. Just wanted to be sure you were there. <laughs> I thought you would. <laughs> You're in the groove, friend. In the groove. <laughs> well, just another 40 minutes to kill, and then we, then they, will all be gone. <laughs> well, that's the last of the goodies. Now, if I can just have about five minutes with these controls. Oh, Dick Dick. Kill me if he finds me. Well, since I'm 30,000 years in the future, a decade or two won't matter to anybody except to me. Now, I gotta set this up to let me out right here. There we go, maybe 10 years earlier. Now, if I can get a 10-year head start, I may...
may just end up the big cheese before Dictor even shows his face in these parts. After all, he admitted he was a 20th century man. There we go. Now, drag everything through the gate one more time. And if I'm lucky, I'll beat him here. So far, so good. Hmm. Looks like the palace is completely empty. Boy. Whoever the grand ones were who built this place, they sure had a strange idea of architecture. Well, here's the main entrance. Boy, those grand ones must have been pretty big cats. Or else they just liked plenty of headroom. Hark. Cavorting of the indigenous populace is heard without. Well, I guess it's time to find out if the natives are as friendly as advertised. <coughs> well, they've seen me. Don't seem to be running. Ain't coming closer, either. Oh, I get it. The palace is taboo. And by extension, so am I. <laughs> well, make the most out of it, Wilson, my lad. See if you can look important. <whistles> Boy, the women are sure gorgeous. Anyway, <clears throat> here goes. Um, how? Uh, me, me, big cheese. Me, great white grad student. Uh, me want food. <clears throat> food. Me hungry. Bring food. <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Do something. Dictor. 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 Oh, that's where he got the name. Uh, it's a title. Well, when Dictor One shows up, we'll just have to see who winds up head Dictor around here. Hey, <laughs> they're kneeling. I like that. <laughs> oh, hell, this is like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby, you once said. I recall that thought once crossing my mind many years ago. Ten years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Ten years, you're right. You were wrong. These last ten years haven't been exactly carefree. Well, not lazy and irresponsible, no. I've had many responsibilities. Yes, after all, you were the ruler of an entire world. Albeit a benign and surpassingly pleasant one. Well, still, it's taken its toll. Your beard is streaked with gray. Well, it makes me look distinguished, I think. And rumor has it that you've started talking to yourself. You don't mean it. I'm serious. Talking to yourself, that's what they say. You think it's true? <laughs> Well, I like to think of myself as an impartial third party. But that's not all. What else could there be? Your memory. Your memory is going. Come off it. I'm only, what, 32 or 33? That only happens to, to very old men. Well, you're 30,000 years older than most men. What's wrong with my memory? Have you forgotten? It's your 10th anniversary. You've been dictor here for about 10 years. Well, that means... It was about this time that I first came through the gate. Exactly. And you notice something? You had all these contingency plans for when you met up with this other dictor gent. And yet in all this time, he's never shown. That's right. And I haven't seen any of my little selves running around the palace either. Ever get curious? Curious about what? About where everybody is, about the time gate. Oh, no. <laughs> I've been cured of curiosity about the time gate. Hey, remember that time when I was fiddling with it and I actually caught a glimpse of one of the Grand Ones through the viewer? How could I forget it? We haven't been to the Hall of the Gates since. Still, aren't you even the least bit curious about the other Dictor and all those other Bob Wilsons? After all, one great white father is all this place will support. What should happen if... Oh, I catch your drift. Could create a scene, couldn't it? Hmm, what should we do? Well, maybe we should open the gate and probe around. See what the viewer will show us. Well, what are we waiting for? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. As a matter of fact, we're here. We're here. Yes, in the hall of the gate. 
Yes, and you are, even as we speak, sitting at the controls. Why, so I am. See what I mean about your memory? We can dispense with the sarcasm. Then turn the thing on. Now what? Well, why don't you see if you can find your old digs at the university? Hmm. I'll be lucky to find the 20th century. I'm a bit rusty at this. Well, the time is the easiest part. Hey, there. Hold it right there. That looks about right time-wise. Let's see if we can get this down in your room. Oh, that looks like Philadelphia. Well, you're on the right continent. Now that's better. Oh, there's Billings Hall. That's the university. I think if I adjust this north, just a few blocks. We were north, weren't we? Oh, there's Manny's. Remember Manny's? Only too well. Shall we go on? Now you're getting warmer. There's the girls' dorm. We were the next two buildings over, weren't we? That's right. You've got it. There's the broom closet. Well, if I can get this thing up two flights... Very good. There's the head of the stairs. Now, they don't go up to another landing, so we must be at the third floor. I can just maneuver this to the end of the hall. Watch it, watch it, watch it. No, 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 that's Jake Krabinski's room. I know, I know. Fine-tuning this thing isn't easy, you know. Just keep it going straight. That's it. That's it. Straight. Straighten it. Now, right through that door. What's that? Look there, on the floor. Somebody's fallen through the gate. Who is it? Krabinski? Oh, my God. My God, my God. What? What is it? It's me. It's me, ten years younger. I've fallen through. I've been punched through the gate. Just the way it happened ten years ago. Thirty thousand and ten years ago. What of it? You knew it could happen. Yes. But we're the only ones here. You know what that means? I'm Dictor. The only Dictor. There's never been another Dictor. What are you saying? I'm saying that I don't have to wait until he arrives for a showdown. There's never going to be one because I'm him. He's me. Well, that can't be right. What about all the, all the little details? What details? Well, Arma, for instance. Remember Arma? The girl that Dictor gave you. You named that servant girl after her. Where is the original? Arma is the original. That's the answer. They're one and the same. Arma Sr. and Arma Jr., the same person. But the original was prettier. Oh, you're just jaded. I tell you, there's only one Dictor, and you're talking to him. You're right. All right, now he's waking up. Pull yourself together. Remember, you're Dictor. You've got to help him. He's going to have a good life, a grand life, a life that beats anything the ancient past had to offer, and you have to see to it. You'll have to make a list of books for him to get, books that will prepare him for creating this place. And Hey, if God created the world, who created God? Cut out the philosophical stuff, will you? Before he catches you at it, you haven't the ghost of a chance of figuring this out, so why try? Just enjoy it, you're hot. Like a gambler who knows what the next roll of the dice is going to be. Come on. His eyes are open. Talk to him. Say anything. Are you all right? Ooh, I guess so. My head hurts. No doubt. You came through rather hard. Came through? Where am I? The Hall of the Gate in the High Palace of Norkal. But what is important is when you are. You have gone forward a little more than 30,000 years. Where are you going? Back. Not so fast. You'll go back all right. I promise you that. But first, let me dress your wounds. And you need rest as well. I have some explanations to make to you, and there is an errand that you can do for me when you get back to our mutual advantage. There's a great future in store for you and me, my boy. A great future. You have been listening to Richard Dreyfus. Starring in Robert A. Heinlein's 
by his bootstraps. Dramatized, produced, and directed by Yuri Rosovsky for the Hollywood Theater of the Ear. In our cast, Cordis Hurd, Ira Burton, and Kasia Marciniak.